Hello, this is Paul from QuickenMobile.com, and we are here with probably the most exciting piece of walking equipment that I've ever had on this channel. So let's take a look at what we have in the trunk here. And I just kind of folded it up and, and threw it in the trunk, but you can actually stand it up uh, as well in the trunk. This is the Wheelator. It's a hybrid walking device. It's a Rollator and it's a wheelchair. So just real quick, let's go ahead and take a look before we get this out, before we demonstrate its utility. That's where to find us online. You can give us a telephone call. Okay, great. Let's go ahead and take a look at this Wheelator again. First thing I notice, I've got some reflective material on the handlebars and this is super light it weighs 35 pounds so let's get it out let's get this thing set up and let's get this thing opened up and ready to roll so all i'm going to do is i'm going to take this down here it just pushes open you see there's a little kind of hook right underneath the chair i'm going to hook this basket to the chair now i've got two batteries here in the basket so i'm going to put that on the inside of the wheel here i'm going to open that up and if we take a look in the basket i've got a toolkit a user manual and there's a battery there on this side and there's a battery on the other side don't be fooled or duped for a device that would give you one battery so we'll go ahead and get this closed and let's take a look here now you've got obviously some storage in this basket and we have an articulating back part. So I've got two brakes right here, and I've got armrests that flip around. I can get that out of the way completely. But when I hand when I hand brake the brakes here, look at this action here. Okay, this would just be like a regular rollator. And if I take a look at the handle here, I can lift this up or I can lower it. I'll just kind of keep it right where it is. And functionally, we're using this as just a regular, regular roller. So if I want to stop, I can stop and I can go along. Now, there's a few things that make this completely and totally unique, unlike anything else, unlike anything on the market. You might notice that it has some leg rests here. And we've got leg rest right on the side. Put those down for now with a flip up foot rest. So I guess you're probably maybe guessing where we're going here with this. And we have big front wheels, bigger front wheels. We're gonna do a lot more videos about this. This is just gonna describe the utility. I'm gonna show you how this works. We're gonna go down a hill. We're gonna use this in a way that a lot of people wish a regular roll tour would work. That's what we're gonna show you in this video. You can subscribe to the videos. You can subscribe to our channel. We'll do measurements, we'll do everything else, but not in this video. So let's take a look here at this little joystick on the back of the chair. I have kind of a thumb down here and I've got power button and I have an M. So I can do one, two, or three. So one, two, three, and then I can do C1. Now if I do C1, see what happens? I press on the little finger and the device is moving. Attention, totally I can Attention, reverse it. Totally it beeps, that's fine. Um, and I can make it go forward and I have three different speeds. So for now, let's go ahead and turn this off. Let's just, let's imagine here that it's, it's a beautiful day. It's been raining for the last few days. And I just want to use a regular walker. The doctor said it's a good idea for me to be walking, getting exercise. And that's exactly what I want to do. I want to walk as much as I possibly can. And we can kind of see that this right here, it's, it's a flat ground. And I don't know if you can see the rear wheels or the wheels closest to me all that well right now, but each of those wheels has a 250 watt motor in the wheel, which is really unique. So I'll show you a couple things as we kind of get around this corner here. And now I know that if, if you're a, a wheelator or a rollator user, or if you've used a walker, 
one of the things about the walker is you've got the hand brakes and if you're on kind of a terrain, the hand brakes are not a, a surefire way to really go about things. And if we take a look down here, I've got what can be an absolute nightmare. So let's just take a look in the video. I don't know how well you can see it, but it's a decline. I'm gonna go down. I don't like that because basically now, now I have to use my body, which if I'm relying on a walker to begin with, to help me walk, the last thing I wanna do is be walking forward and have this thing be absolutely no assistance at all. So I have to pull it back towards me. Now it's a, now it's a risk of falling. I'm thinking twice about taking a simple walk. So I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna press this power. Let's take a look here. I'm gonna press the power and I'm not gonna put it in the C, I'm gonna put it in manual. And I kinda of wanna go slow. So you know what this does? This is actually put some resistance into the wheels. This is about as fast as I'm able to walk right now. So I'm gonna go a little bit faster maybe. I'm gonna press the M. I'm gonna to go to the two setting. Maybe I'm feeling really good right now. I'm gonna go for the three. So right now, this has resistance in the wheels. This is not allowing it to roll and just get away from me entirely which is really nice. Now I can still use the brakes, but the device is not rolling. It's, it, this is as fast as it's gonna go. Now, let's take a look here. Let's, let's just imagine for a moment that I get my foot caught, I'm gonna slip. Hear that beeping? Look at this, it says EE -E on, the, on the dashboard. It just lit up, I'll do it again. I'm gonna emulate a fall. It says EE, -E. look at that, the machine locked. So I'm leaning forward and it's not letting me do anything until I regain my balance. So that's amazing right there. I'm moving, I'm walking. Looks like I just had a, a, a fall scare. And sure, the doctor told me it's, it's a good idea to exercise, it's a good idea to walk. And thank God right now, thank God I have this device that has provided resistance going down the hill. So now instead of me having to pull this thing up and pray that I don't fall, I'm pushing my body weight into the device and the device is giving. It's allowing me to walk, but it's not going faster than I want to go. So we're going to make it to the bottom here and a little bit rough. I'm doing it. It's not a problem. What a blessing it is that I have a walking device like this, the wheel of tour. And now we're to the point here. I'm going to turn this off. There's a, some cars. And I don't have any I don't have any resistance now. So I feel that and those cars are going to let me go, which is nice. I feel that I'm going to be able to make it across the road here. And, and I am. So I've turned the device off. I can go a little bit faster. And right here, let's take a look down here. We've got another, another decline. I don't want to risk this. So I'm going to turn this back on. And maybe I'm a little bit tired here. So I'm going to cycle through the seas and I'm going to go to two. So now, this is forcing me to go slower because this is steeper than that driveway was. Boy, am I happy that this device is giving me a good amount of resistance so I can kind of lean my weight on it and I can go pretty slow here. And now I'm gonna turn this off and I'm going to just simply take a little bit of a rest. You know, I, I did a pretty decent amount of walking right there. And what do I want to do? I want to take a rest. So I'm resting and I'm thinking and I'm deciding that, you know what? I don't quite want to turn around and go back. I, I want to try to walk that back. Uh, but you know what I do want? 
I, I do want to go a little bit further, but I don't want to expend a lot of energy right now. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to stand up. I'm going to flip this around. I do have a seat belt if I want to use the seat belt. I'm not going to use the seat belt. I'm going to flip the arm around and I am going to sit in the actual chair here. Now look at this. I've got a joystick right on the front. This is so neat. It's adjustable so I can move it closer and further away from me so I can, I can adjust it to ideal comfort. I'm going to turn that joystick on and I can go fast or I can go slow. I'm going to leave it fast. I've got a horn. So let's go ahead and just get this joystick along. And I'm cruising along on the sidewalk here. What a, what a wonderful experience I'm having. So I went from walking, even breaking a little bit of a sweat because, well, it's Florida. It's been raining. It's not raining anymore. The sun came out. Look at that beautiful lake. And I right at my fingertips, I have just instantly the ability to turn this into a wheelchair. So it's actually pretty quick. I can go right around four miles per hour top speed with this thing. So let's go ahead and take a little break here. And I can go ahead and take a look at the lake. You know, I'm looking at some of the birds out there. I'm sitting, I'm, you know, I'm seeing some boats. And we'll go back. Let's, let's go ahead and go back. And I've, I've turned this around. And we're going to have the chore of basically going back where I came from. But I, I definitely don't want to be pushing something that has a lot of resistance uphill. Now, I don't know about you, but I mean, I want something that's going to help me get down a hill. So I'm pushing against it. But I don't want to be pushing a heavy weight up a hill. And in the joystick, it's real, real easy. I've got brushless, brushless electromagnetic motors here. And I can adjust the speed without any problems at all. So how far I can push that joystick forward. That's kind of how much power I'm giving it. And let's just say at this stage, I've kind of had enough of using the wheelchair. So I'm going to turn this joystick off right here. And I'm going to flip these up just so I can put my feet down right in front of the device. I did that right with my feet standing up. And I'm going to be careful, of course. But I'm going to flip this back around and I'm going to turn this joystick on. And instead of having this at resistance level two, because right now, remember how we were pushing down a hill. I don't want to push this thing up a hill. I need help getting up a hill. So let's take a look here what we're going to do. I'm going to press the manual mode and I'm going to go to C1. I don't want to, you know, I'm not trying to get in a marathon here and I'm going to press. And look at what this is doing. This is actually propelling the device forward. So I can kind of lean my body weight a little bit forward if I want to and I'm right over the device. It's helping me walk. It's helping me walk across the street. I'm going at a comfortable pace. Now, if I was just going to switch roles really quickly and I become a, a caregiver, I'm going to go ahead and put this on C2 or C3. And if somebody's in the chair, I'm pressing down and you can see that I'm actually walking at a good pace with the person in the chair that I don't have to push, which is really nice to have the device doing the work. And it's really nice that the person that you're taking care of has the freedom and the ability to, to walk to the very best of their ability. Because a lot of people, they're, they're not quite ready for you know, a chair or mobility scooter full time but it sure is nice to be able to have the ability to have one when you want. So this is giving me a good amount of power. You can hear it, it's nice and quiet. Go straight when I have my other arm off. If I take my hand off, it just stops. So again, I'm in resistance mode. 
and we'll kind of go over everything that it does again just real quick the joystick comes off the basket comes off both batteries come out you have this it's comfortable soft gel and folds either way so I can sit down as a wheel -a tour or a roll -a tour a walker I have hand brakes these are adjustable height handles I can flip this around I can sit in it as a wheelchair I can have this as a device that I'm pushing behind me with resistance and then if I if I tip and fall let's take a look here just at the joystick when I'm in the process of falling so I'm kind of pushing down here there's a sudden movement you see that EE -E. and it just it completely locks the device up it locks the device up for a few moments and then you get your composure so any fast jerking movement as if you were going to fall it does not allow you to fall so for those reasons i really believe that this wheel -a tour is the ultimate walking device it's what people wish a roll -a tour was they wish a roll -a tour did this because a roll -a tour is typically stationary some roller tours do function as a seat instead of a walker. Some even do allow you to sit in front of it as a chair, but it's entirely manual. There's no ability to assist you walking up. There's no ability to assist you walking down like I've just demonstrated that this device does. This device gives you the ability to use it as a motorized wheelchair. This device is light. It has two airline approved batteries. It weighs just 35 pounds. And you do have the ability to use the joystick controller on the back. So you have two controllers with this device. You can actually control the brakes here in the back. So it's, it's adjustable how sensitive the brakes are. So it's kind of like a bicycle braking system in many ways. And it's actually exceptionally comfortable and it folds right up from the side here. This seat's comfortable, nice gel seat right here easy to clean easy material to clean this is comfortable and i i encourage you to look in the description that's below this video for more information about the wheel -a tour it'll take you directly to the quicken mobile website there's a link that'll take you right there right below the video i also encourage you to subscribe to this video if you want more information there's a lot of videos that we're going to do about this wheel -a tour we're going to get the tape measure out. We're going to measure it. We're going to take it on some terrain tests. We're going to show it folding, unfolding. We're going to show all the things that this can do. So I would also appreciate it if you if you just left a comment below. What, what do you want to see that this device does? What questions do you have? But in the meantime, thank you for subscribing. Thank you for watching. And again, in the description, if you're on YouTube watching this, right in the description, you can find a hyperlink to our website, quickandmobile.com. You can go directly to Quick and Mobile and take a look at the ultimate walking machine, the wheel tour. Thank you for watching.